Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I know a lot of you guys are great sports fans. You have the teams that you love to follow. You, you know the players. You look forward to the games. and You love being a sports fan. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just not who I am. I, I don't follow the statistics. I don't schedule my days or weekends around certain games to take place. I don't play fantasy football or anything like that. I've always worked out my entire life, and I continue to do so. I have to say, however... What is happening now, the heavyweight division in boxing, I find fascinating, and nobody's talking about it. Very few people know about it, but we have a real-life Rocky situation that is happening, and I want to relate it to gun ownership and self-defense, and I think you'll understand as we get into this. There's a British boxer named Anthony Joshua. He is known to be the greatest boxer that's ever stepped in the ring. He's 6'6". He's a bodybuilder. He's, he's sculptor. He's got the perfect body. They said he's got the perfect mind. His combinations are unbelievable. Incredibly hard hitter. He's got gold medals. An incredible resume. Never lost a match. Never been knocked down. He's the heavyweight champion of the world. But he's never been introduced to the American people. So they decide they need to do that. They book a venue in midsummer in Madison Square Gardens and sell thousands of tickets to see who they are claiming the greatest fighter that's ever lived. His opponent was Jarrell Miller. Jarrell Miller, three weeks prior to the fight, did not pass three drug tests. They said, you're out, you're not fighting. So now they needed a challenger. They came up with a guy whose name is Andy Ruiz Jr., who is a of Mexican descent. He's an American guy of Mexican descent, but he's very overweight. But within two weeks, he accepts the challenge and says, I'll fight Joshua. And he does. And, you know, they, they, they hype it up a bit. But in the middle of the summer, they fight at Madison Square Gardens. And you look at the two aligned next to each other or across from each other, and you say, this is going to be over in two minutes. Joshua's this massive dude, and then you have this overweight Mexican guy. It looks like he doesn't even stand a chance. But what people didn't understand was Ruiz Jr. had the heart of a warrior. I mean, he was just a, a, a solid puncher, and he, well, he wasn't going to quit for anything. And as you watch the fight, it goes back and forth a little bit. And then all of a sudden, after Ruiz gets knocked down, he gets up and he tags Joshua in the head with a solid hook that threw him off balance. Joshua never recovered from that. He went down, and then ultimately, after the seventh round, Ruiz wins by a technical knockout. This guy is now the heavyweight champion of the world. I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, it's fixed, it's, you know, it's not real. Go watch the fight and you come back and tell me. Now you're asking, well, how does, you know, what does this have to do with self-defense with a gun? Much like the way Ruiz wrote that book, that's what happens when a senior citizen decides they're not going to be a victim. They draw a gun and say, you know what, forget you, this is how things are going to go down now. And we see criminals and, and hardened idiots run like little cowards. Or you got the 100 pound girl who says, you know what, I learned how to use a gun because I refuse to be a victim. I'm not going to be uh, somebody's little toy to do what they want with. I'm changing the rules now and they present a gun and they win that situation. That is the, the spirit of a warrior. That is what's needed in society. We love reporting upon that. I love getting in front of this camera and saying, this is what happened and this is how they defend themselves and this was the mindset of, of these people. It all starts with a preparedness right here where we say, I refuse to be a victim under any circumstance. And I'm rewriting the book, the book of self-defense that I take serious for myself. So here in the boxing match, we saw a huge disparity of force. But once that blow was delivered to the head, it changed everything. Mike Tyson said many years ago that everybody has a plan until they get hit in the head. When they get in the head, hit in the head, everything changes. And that's what we saw with that heavyweight bout. Well, once a gun is presented, the situation changes. Now, Hopefully, if everything works out, you know, given that the preparation was there, the time is right, the draw is uh, strong and, and quick, if everything works out, 
you you rewrote the book, you changed the rules, you defended yourself properly, and you won that situation. Disparity of force, the gun is the game changer. It levels the playing field and it gives the 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 potential victim a chance to go on the offensive and say, not this time, not happening, and I will defend myself right here and right now. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.